So this is a, um, a short video about how to draw the implied volatility chart for, um, for a stock. We discussed this in class, but I just wanted to have a, uh, a short video of how we, we're going to go about it. Um, so I'm going to be using the Google Doc Sheets. And uh, for data, I'm going to be using the Yahoo Finance. So I already pulled out the Apple as we discussed it in class. It's, it's a, you know, it has a lot of data for lectures. So it kind of makes it a good uh, lecture discussion company. Um, I, you know, we want to use the next monthly available. That's the April the 21st. And I'm going to be using the call options. The current price is 165. So what I'll do here is I'm going to say the strike price as if you're doing a, um, a bit of a simulation. And um, I want to make this a bit bigger. Um, so let's go with, say, 125%. Um, so today is 165. So let's see. If we have um, this, the strike price is going down about two and a half dollars and going up about two and a half dollars. So let's do the same. I'm gonna make today bold and just gonna say right here as it is at today. And then going up, I'm going to increase that by two and a half dollars. And I don't want to make it too big. So let's use about four of these. And then going down, I'm gonna deduct it by um, two and a half dollars. And I'll do the same. So I'll do about four of these. Um, that's it. So let's make them look nice. And I want to actually make sure that, um, you know, they just look nice. So this strike, let's put it right here. Now, we also want this to be uh, for, I want to say, April 21st. And then we're going to do May the 19th. We need two maturities, right? And all we really need is for these strike prices. And remember, this is for Apple and for a call option, right? So all we really need is that the implied volatility that's as calculated by Yahoo Finance we went through how to calculate this in class uh, with a Black and Scholes uh, calculator, but you know it's nicely calculated for us. And and we just want to see uh, the implied volatility chart, the volatility smile, if you will, uh, for two separate maturities and um, using a, a spreadsheet. So the implied volatility for one hundred sixty five is twenty three sixty nine. So let's go with that. 23.69 and um and it's a percent uh but i'm not going to use the percent just leave it at that and then um just so that the, the chart doesn't look too crowded um 162.5 uh it's 25.39 25.39 and then 160 it's right there 26.98 26.98. Notice how the implied volatility is increasing as we go in the money and then as it will out of the money. So 157.5, that's a 29.20. 29.20. And then uh, 155, uh, that's a 31.30. So we now do the same for 167.5, um, and 21.92. Notice how the implied volatility is actually decreasing, although I kind of expected that it would increase um, because we've, on a different video just a minute ago that we recorded on the uh, Stata, we actually saw that to be increasing, but um, it actually starts increasing somewhere deep out of the money, not immediately out of the money. So uh, if you look at 170, we get 20.58. And then let's look at 172.5. That's 
that's a 1943. And 175 is a 1870. Now we do the same for May 19th. So let's take a look. We go off top and then right here, we're looking for the May 19th and we'll do exactly the same. Uh, we just want to make sure that the page updates and that you actually see right here as May 19th. Now we do. Okay. So 165 is 2892. So it's right here, 2892. Oops, sorry. Now notice how these are today. And just by going one month out, uh, the implied volatility increased um, somewhat nicely. So 162.5. Oops, sorry. 165. Oh, this actually goes by five dollars. So we got a hundred and sixty thirty one oh three. So right there, thirty one oh three. And then we have a hundred and fifty five. That is thirty four oh eight. Obviously, if we had more observations, the chart would have looked so much better. Uh, but just for the sake of keeping this video short, I just want to do it for a limited number of strike prices. Uh, please feel free to increase the size of the, um, you know, similar strikes. Uh, but then, you know, using Stata, we actually have this a little bit nicer anyway. So this is just to show how to do this with um, a spreadsheet. So 100 and 170 is 26.55. So 26.55. And the 175 is uh, 2475. So it's uh, 2475. So then uh, simply I'm going to select these and then click on insert. Now we want a chart. And we actually want to have oh, the internet. I guess it must be a little bit slow. No, but that's not the chart we wanted to have. So it's not the chart that we want to have. We wanted to have a nice um, and volatility smile chart. So obviously a column chart doesn't do. Notice the chart editor right here. I'm actually going to choose, um, it actually is supposed to look like this. So um, it says suggested, I, we could go with that or we can just choose line. And then the only thing that obviously is not working for us is we have three separate series. We don't need that. We just need to use the column C as the label. So it's supposed to look like this. Um, like I said, we could have used one of the suggested ones. Now, now notice that the blue line is straight, but the, um, the red line is actually only dots, which is fine, I guess, because we are basically just uh, skipping certain uh, strike prices um, for April, it goes two and a half dollars per um, increments of two and a half dollars. But for May, it's increments of five dollars, but it'll do. So now that we have the blue, that's your April implied volatility, and then the red for the May implied volatility. Notice we have a, uh, a chart, and 165 is actually our current level. Uh, so that's at the money level. And um, to the right-hand side, you have the uh, out of the money, uh, and these are call options. And then to the left-hand side, you have uh, in the money. And, and notice that the implied volatility is higher, actually, for in the money. And then it actually is going down for out of the money call options. And But again, uh, when you look at the chart, um, the prices, actually, you notice that after... Uh, deep it out of the money, the implied wealth, it seems to uh, lift up. Um, so, you know, overall, the idea is to be able to draw this chart and to be able to make sense to it. Um, 
you know, I, I guess what makes this really unique is that for a stock, uh, you, we have uh, an expected volatility, but evidently that expected volatility is different for different levels of um, imply, you know, different levels of strike price. Um, I guess we are willing to pay more when a price is uh, more within the realm of possibilities. So let me know if you have any questions and thank you. Bye now.